Listen, how many of you watching this right now learn more from your good experiences with money versus your bad? I think a lot of people don't realize is that the financial education that we do receive, sadly, is when life hits us squarely in the face, uh, just like relationships. But isn't it funny that we don't learn about relationships and money in school, but yet when we do life, when we adult, that's exactly the topics that we really need to be on the up and up about because those are things that cost us, sadly, time and money and relieve a lot of depression today, relieve a lot of anxiety today, it relieve a lot of financial stress today, it incorporate a lot more confidence today, a lot more certainty today, and people will have a little bit more strength and understanding. If I got financially literate, if I got myself a financial education, if I got exposed and became aware of what people do good and, and do bad in, in regards to finances, they will be in a much different financial position today than they are fighting themselves. So uh, when did you start learning about money, Milton? During well, your good experiences or your bad? 2020, COVID. That's when co I, really? That's what pushed me to start learning. You know, um, I, I'm reading here this art, I'm reading this article here that says that less than 12 percent of students are required to take a standalone personal finance course to graduate from high school outside of the six states that mandate it. But only 7.4 percent of the black and brown students are required to take that class. So that I, automatically seeing those seeing those numbers. They show, I mean, actually, I was part of that small percentage that Me was, too. it wasn't required. Yeah. And even, yeah. even if it was, I probably wouldn't have taken it because I didn't see the finance would be a big thing. But then that threw me into the world with zero to almost nothing of understanding what, how money works, what money is, even how credit works, which is what drove me to a lot of depth in my early 20s, which is up to this day, I'm still paying off. You know, I uh, are reminded of me filing bankruptcy in 1996, coming back from a deployment. In one year, I uh, came back from the deployment. By the way, this is one year, crying out your true story. It's in my uh, first page of my book, Faith Made Millionaire. And first year, come back from a deployment, get married, have a kid, file for divorce, file for bankruptcy, all in one year. It's my motivational year of change and transformation. <laughs> I'm laughing at it now, man, I tell you, I was crying about, crying about it. You work with a lot of entrepreneurs. You work with a lot of uh, uh, clientele that uh, are successful business. Obviously, they have to be able to afford you. But uh, it's, it's, you know, you're not, you're, you're not your uh, $75 an hour trainer, you know, at, at, at the USC at, or, or, or these box gyms. But when you see our entrepreneurs, what, where do you find them having the most amount of experience from, the good or the bad experiences Definitely. from finances? So surprisingly, you would think that a lot of entrepreneurs that exist nowadays, a lot of people assume like, oh, they came from money, they got something handed down to them, or they just got uh, lucky. But majority of the entrepreneurs that I work with currently right now, every single one of them came from some form of struggle. And that struggle is what made them either sink or swim. They either stayed stuck in their situation or they made that decision to take massive action towards changing their financial life. Especially because some, a lot of them had kids, yeah. going through divorce, whatever the case may be, but they had no other option but to win during, during that time, time of their life, which led them to where they're at today, including yourself, Matt. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, by the way, I'm asking you, where did you learn more about money, your finances, during the good times of your finances or during your struggle? And if you had financial education early on in your life, what specific topics about financial education would you prefer? So <clears throat> I get asked this question a lot. Matt, if you're in your 20s and you had to do your 20s all over again, what would you do different in regards to money? Here's what I would do different in my, in my, in my 20s. Number one, it's not a financial it's not a financial play. It's a personal development and relationship play. Mm -hmm. I got to find out who I am. Mm -hmm. You're out there at the clubs. You don't know who you are. You're <laughs> out there spending money. You got your club buddies that you call on Thursday nights. What's up, bro? What do you got going on? What are we doing? Right? You remember those guys? Yeah, that, you're like... a crew because you can't roll up into a club by yourself. Can't afford it. And so in that process, and by the way, that's where I got found a girl I got married to, had a kid with, and got divorced with. So the rule there is never meet a girl at Kokomo's. So that's number one, <laughs> and marry her, right? And uh, uh, number two, establish your credit early. I ruined my credit early. I came back from a military deployment. I couldn't pay my monthly payments. was 500 bucks a month. My military paycheck was 850 a month. Excuse me, 850 every two pay, uh, uh, pay periods. 850 every, uh, every two weeks. I could not afford to keep up. I was paying more in credit card payments than I was getting my military pay. So the guy said, hey, go down the street, go, go see Susan, and go file bankruptcy. I said, what's bankruptcy? Oh, they should just wipe off all your debt. Really? That's it? For the cost of one credit card payment, I can wipe out all my debt? Yeah, no problem. So I did it without realizing for the next five to seven years, I'm, I'm wrecked. Can't apply for another mortgage. 
can apply, even if I had a VA loan, can apply for renting an apartment, can apply for a credit card, car loan. The craziest thing. But here, here's what I also saw. I couldn't apply for the traditional ones. I could apply for the hard luck. I'll give you a credit card. You just filed bankruptcy. I'll give you some credit here, but at 50% interest rate. So that's number two. Get your credit square in. Number three, it sounds cliche, but listen, the biggest thing you got going for you is time if you're young. Mm -hmm. So talk, I don't care if it's 25 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks, 200 bucks a month. Start tucking money away now because time will compound your money. If you're putting that money inside an index universal life insurance policy, even if you're sticking inside a mutual fund, you open up a TD Ameritrade account. The reason I'm a part, uh, a part of the TD Ameritrade, they sponsored uh, us during a, a personal financial reality show in 2009. Put your money away. Get that money growing and compound. Don't put it in the bank. Put money, if you say, Matt, I, 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 said, I hear these guys put money in the bank. Yeah, put an emergency fund in the bank. But if you want your, your compounding growth money, that down the road, get that money working for you. I've got like six different index universal life insurance policies. Why? Because I can put that money in there. It can grow uh, with the S&P 500 growth. No downside risk. And then when I, anytime I want to, two, three, three years later, four years later, I was able to withdraw money from those uh, policies, go get my car, pay my policy back, what I was about to pay a car payment to the bank with by paying back my own money. But by the way, life insurance is a zero cost wash loan in these, in these policies these days. Boom. And that's how I was never able to say, hey, car company, can you loan me money to buy a car? It's not that. These days I do that to build business credit. But mm -hmm. from a personal uh, credit standpoint, I'm not doing that type of stuff. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.